Did you know that the body requires 102 minerals in order to function properly, in order to have a, a strong immune system? I bet you guys didn't know that. Let me share how I build my immune system to fight off diseases, especially at this time of viruses such as COVID and, other, and others. I, I haven't taken ill for the past, Lord knows how long, 10 years, 15 years, because I've been taking these five superfoods. Treat your body as your temple. Don't abuse your body, use your body, but use your body in such a way that you become the envy of the town or the envy of the village or the envy of the household. <laughs> Let me just clear this with you. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a herbalist. I am sharing the information that was passed on to me by my grandparents. And this has helped me a lot as somebody who suffers from multiple food allergies. Oof, it's such a lovely day it's nice and hot i'm on a hike and i just thought it would be best to make a video and share with you a friend encouraged me to upload this video i had planned to put this kind of videos on a different channel because my channel is a travel channel, it's a travel vlog. A friend said, look, upload this information because it might help some people. So sometimes it's best not to sit on information that might help other people. And this video is one of those. The thing is, I suffer from multiple food allergies. It's not what I cannot eat because the list is endless. It's what I can eat. I can eat, of course, all fruits and veggies no dairy products and i can eat chicken and fish and that's about it everything else i'm allergic to i've been suffering this food allergy since i was five years old so when i'm traveling how do i manage to stay healthy and fit the food that i eat is very important to me but when you suffer from food allergies there are many foods that do not give you the balanced nutrition that your body requires minerals vitamins protein so that when what i'm going to share with you comes to the equation if you know what you're eating then you can live a very healthy life i never travel anywhere without echinacea echinacea it's a plant it's a flower it's very good because it fights off colds and flu so the more you take echinacea the less you're going to suffer flu and colds i call it a quick immune system booster it comes in tablets capsules and liquid so i prefer the liquid one even though they mix it with a bit of alcohol because the taste is not very good but it's a very healthy plant i haven't suffered flu and colds for the past 10 years if i enter a room with loads of people suffering from flu and colds i just take a teaspoon of my kinesia and that usually helps it has helped me quite a lot on my travels more especially in Russia where the weather change every thousand kilometer it's like you've got your own season clock because you go a thousand kilometer and it's extremely hot like summer in Dubai and then another thousand kilometer extremely cold like winter in Switzerland It's very hot here. I've decided to sit down for a bit so that I can share these superfoods that I normally use. Every morning I will have my oats mixed with sea moss, bladder rock, burdock root, and sometimes moringa. So when I have my oats, I will add honey or syrup. And sometimes I'll squeeze a little bit of lemon because bladder rock has got a very, very strong sea smell. No matter how much you wash it, it's still there. So I normally squeeze a bit of lemon and you will see how I prepare this in the next video. So I've got sea moss, bladder rock, burdock root, and moringa. These four foods will give you all the vitamins, minerals, nutrients, protein that your body needs. Sea moss alone contains 92 minerals, but your body requires 102. So when you mix sea moss with bladder rock and burdock root, then you've got all those 102 minerals and all the vitamins and nutrients that you need. Sea moss, Irish sea moss. I had a story that during World War II, there was a lack of food and the Irish 
were the ones who started using sea moss. So they will go into the sea and bring sea moss and the family lived on that. It doesn't taste good, but it's good because the more you eat it, the less appetite you're going to have. It will help you lose weight at the same time and it will help tighten your skin as well. It's quite amazing this. I made a video of what happened when I took Irish sea moss, bladder rock and bedog root for seven days. And I'm going to put that video in the next few weeks or few days. Sea moss has a jelly-like consistency. Remember, it binds everything together. Sea moss will also fight depression and it will uh, detoxify your body. It will improve your skin, your nails, your hair. Sea moss will boost your mental health. It's good for thyroid problems. It will help improve food digestion, improves your skin, weight loss, body recovery, boosts your mental health, natural painkiller, treat your thyroid problems, arthritis, psoriasis, cold sores, herpes, fights diabetes, improves skin. Treat CMOS as your painkiller. I normally mix my CMOS and put it in a bottle, but you can also uh, make it like in cubes and then freeze it if you want. But when you're traveling, you can't really freeze stuff. Here, I've got an example when I um, froze CMOS, bladder rock, and bedock root together. Take it from the freezer, melt it with hot water, mix it with my oats, a little bit of syrup, then moringa. And after that, put it on the cooker for like a minute and then mix it all. I had that for my breakfast and it tastes so nice. Is so delicious or you can mix your oats with a syrup or with honey but not sugar too much sugar is not good for you bladder rock is known to have powerful anti-inflammatory properties. It helps to heal thyroid problems, rich in iodine, fight of skin problems, arthritis, gout, digestive problems, and lowers the risk of cancer. Bedok root cleanses the body as well and is rich in antioxidants. You can take badog root and just boil it and drink it as tea. It's got a little bit of a sweet taste. If you check one of my videos, I'll put a link somewhere here or here where I talk a little bit about badog root and its properties. It tastes so good when you drink it as tea and you don't need to add sugar. Badog root is good for your skin, it's good for the hair, it will fight off colds and flu, it will cleanse the body, to cleanse your liver, your kidney. It will help flush out toxins in your body. Try to use this every day. If you can, use it twice or three times a day if you can afford it. It will fight cancer, arthritis, eczema, skin disease, psoriasis. It will fight just about everything that's not good for your body. And it will give you such a lovely, lovely skin. So we can say bedog root is a kidney tonic and a liver tonic. The reason why I mentioned Moringa is that Moringa has got high concentration of protein. It's known to fight inflammations of the body. Moringa will also help with your eyesight. It will improve your vision. <laughs> Moringa is also known as the miracle tree. The leaves carries all the healthy food that you need. You can eat the roots, you can eat anything and everything from that plant alone. It's known to have antifungal and antibacterial properties. If you suffer from any skin problem, eczema, psoriasis, Moringa will help to fight that. I say Moringa helps with respiratory problems. It's good for your lungs, it will improve your lungs, your skin, your nails, your hair, your digestive system, your mental health, and it can protect your liver, your kidneys, clear up toxins in your body. This plant is green. It smells very much like a plant. You can Mix it with a smoothie, you can mix it with your yogurt if you want to use milk, or you can just drink it as tea. I use this every morning. Every morning I mix my oats with bladder rock, sea moss, bedog root, and moringa. But I don't use moringa all the time because moringa increases your sex drive. <laughs> <laughs> I already have a very, very good sex drive. I don't want to increase that because they've developed a Viagra, but there's, <laughs> there's no opposite to Viagra. <laughs> so I don't need that. <laughs> Moringa is also known to balance your hormones. So if you are busy preparing to have a baby, 
don't take Moringa because it might act as a contraceptive. <laughs> Not like a very strong contraceptive, but it might. If you can afford it, take Moringa two or three times a day. You can buy a powder Moringa because that's easier to get. I will pin the links for this below this video. Bedok root, that's a, a land plant. Echinacea, it's a land plant, it's a flower. Moringa, it's a land plant. Other two, which are the main ingredients here, sea moss and bladderwrack, these are found in the sea or deepest oceans. It's a kind of seaweed that attaches itself at the bottom of the sea on the rocks and stones. I will put a video about how to mix bladderwrack with bedok root and sea moss together. And in that video, you'll see sea moss act as a gel it binds everything together it's quite amazing what it does you can cook it for three four minutes and then mix it all maybe you can use a blender so once you mix simos with a um, bladder rock and bedock root then you've got all the 102 minerals that your body needs and all the vitamins that are needed by the body so just these three just imagine that simos bladder rock and bedock root if you can afford it have it twice or three times a day if not, have it once a day. I have it first thing in the morning because it's difficult to buy this when you're traveling from one country to another. I will put some links, some Amazon links for you guys to buy all this. And the nicest thing is when you click on those links and buy through those links, then I will get a very little tiny commission that will help me with my traveling. It's not much, but it does help. As they will say, every little helps. <laughs> if you want to know more about these plants that I am talking about in this video. Just Google bladder rug benefits, Google um, sea moss benefits, Google moringa benefits, Google echinacea benefits, Google uh, bedog root benefits. Just Google them all and you will find all the benefits that I am not going to cover all in this video because I don't want the video to be too long and bore you guys to death. I consider myself extremely lucky because the degree in psychology a certificate in uh, fitness and nutrition. So I know exactly what to eat when I'm traveling, but still I had to do a lot of research. I had to follow a lot of what my grandparents have taught me. When I stopped eating these superfoods, I was more susceptible to diseases. It was easier to fall ill, but when you take these, you're good. If you're having any health problems, start taking these and they will help you. And once you start using this, keep a diary because I want you to tell me how you felt after 14 days. You will be amazed. I'm not going to tell you in this video, no, because you will start feeling the results within seven days. But after 14 days, it's amazing. Now imagine if you keep taking this for a month, two months, for the rest of your life, you will be very healthy. You'll have strong bones, strong teeth, good hair, good skin like mine. <laughs> the only thing I don't like, it makes your hair grow very fast. I have to shave my hair every two days. I used to shave my hair every four or five days. Now I have to do that every two days because the hair grows very fast. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification button so you never miss any of my videos. I will see you in the next video.